Okay, I'm going to show you what the gravity core looks like and how to adjust it. You got your club. Along with the club came this tool. Put the tool in and unscrew it. It should be very tight, so it's going to take a little work. Make sure you push the tool in so you don't end up possibly stripping or destroying the screw. When you, you get this unscrewed, The screw is going to come out like this, and then inside, you see this little thing like this thing sticking out at you? Put your finger on that, turn the club upside down, and voila. This is what you get. This is the gravity core. The silver end of the gravity core has more weight to it. So, what you do is you decide do you want the weight to be higher in the club? Or do you want the weight to be lower in the club? So then you take the club head itself, make your choice. If you put it in this way, you're going to end up with the weight. I'll turn this over. If you put it in this way, then the additional weight is going to be in the bottom of the club. This is going to reduce your ball spin. If you turn this over and put it up this way, that's going to cause more weight to be higher in the club head. So make your choice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the weight lower in the club head. By putting the weight lower in the club head, hopefully it'll reduce my ball spin, maybe give me a, a chance at a little more accurate hit. Anything I can do to improve my accuracy when hitting the ball is going to be good for me. So you're going to screw this in. This actually is very tight. And they'll show you on the videos that you have to screw this in until it pops. And it's actually, it's 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 actually a pretty tight, uh, pretty tight fit. So go ahead and screw that in. Turn it till it pops. It hasn't popped yet. There it goes. That's pretty tight. Make sure you twist it in there, just like they say in the videos on Callaway. Okay. Now I mentioned that. These are adjustable in the sense that you can move these head weights between the toe and the heel. And you decide where you want to put them. Now supposedly this is supposed to change whether or not you're slicing or, or you need some draw into the ball or something like that. Um, I'm not going to get into any technical information or, or you know, what your swing situation is and, and what adjustments you should make. Um, you'll have to look on Callaway to, and, and understand your swing or maybe talk to a pro to do that. Uh, my goal is to try and explain uh, a little more easily the features and what they're here for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to adjust the cogs on the shaft. When you got this, you have the cogs here, and this can be a little confusing. I'm going to make this very simple. I'm going to first take the club head off. You can see here though that uh, my club is a 9 degree, okay, and you see that I have this hash mark here. When you put everything back together, whatever club you have, whether it's a 9, a 10, or whatever, that indicator should line up with the cogs and should line up with this hash mark on the shaft. So everything has to be in alignment when you put it back together.